What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you 31 more iOS 13.5 free compatible jailbreak tweaks. I'm recording this video a few days before WWDC 2020, where Apple is set to unveil both new hardware and new software. Although I don't think it's likely, Apple has taken tweaks from the jailbreak community before, so maybe some of the tweaks on today's list will be in iOS 14 by default. With that being said, all of the tweaks talked about in today's video will be down below in the description as well as their repos. All right guys, let's get started. Normally in regular iOS, if you're playing a song and your volume level is set to 0%, it will still play the song. However, with music be quiet, you can see when my volume is at 0%, it pauses the song. Switch Confirm asks you if you want to redirect to a certain application. For example, it's asking me here if I want to redirect the Safari link to YouTube. I can press allow and it'll work, or I can press no thanks and it won't redirect me. With Power Cuff, I can choose whether or not I want to throttle my device. This doesn't really make sense on a newer device because you have a better battery and it just doesn't really make sense. You have a better processor. You're not really going to need to do that on a newer device. However, if you have something older, such as like an iPhone 6S, this is something that could come in handy. You can see the difference in speeds when I toggle it from none to heavy, and you can see how much of a difference this makes. If you're gonna use this, I would definitely not recommend that you put it on heavy unless you don't care about the compromise of having better battery life but suffering in performance. Regardless though, I think there are some use cases for this tweak, I thought it was pretty cool. Managing peak performance is a feature that started getting built into iOS since iOS 12.1, but iOS only allowed you to mess around with these settings if your device needed it. This gives you more fine-tuned control over your device's performance. It's by Ryan Petrich, go check it out. Settings widgets gives you a battery and storage widget at the top of the settings page. Power settings places different power customization settings in the settings page on your device. Entering safe mode, doing that type of thing, tweaks like this are definitely good to have. Mobile Meadow basically gives you a meadow on your device. It looks really cool. It reminds me of Mobile Goose, the tweak that I covered a few videos ago. Just like Mobile Goose though, unless you disable this tweak or uninstall it, the birds are here to stay and they just kind of like go around on your device. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Typing notifications allows you to get a banner notification when somebody is typing. This is kind of like type status too. There's another tweak that's more like type status too that's paid called Sentry. If you want that tweak instead, I'll link it in the description. This tweak is a really awesome tweak to have for somebody like me that's a creator that's constantly making jailbreak tweak videos. If you don't have a jailbreak tweak that can send test push notifications or you don't feel like doing it yourself, this tweak comes in handy because it allows you to send a push notification from any application. What's the date allows you to set a timer on your device and have the timer disappear so you can see what the date is. Say you're watching a YouTube video that you want to be invested in and you don't want to get interrupted with notifications. With iPlugs, you can suppress notifications in a specific app and you won't get them until you close out of it. Notablock is a really cool tweak and kind of takes suppressing notifications even further. With these settings, I have it selected that I can block the notification if the message contains the text, test. So I set myself a notification saying hi, but you'll see if I try to send a notification saying test, nothing pops up. But if I go into the Twitter application, you can see that I did send the message. With color 3D icons, I can change the color of my 3D touch view. I have icon labels turned off, but while scrolling from page to page with shy labels, the labels become visible. With volume brightness, while pressing both of my volume buttons at the same time, I can now control my device's brightness just by using the volume buttons. This tweak is cool because it adds haptic feedback to basically almost all actions on your device. Tunzi is a really cool tweak, which is an update to a tweak that existed previously called Fingal, but this one is updated for the latest devices and for iOS 13. Much like Snowboard, Toonzy is a theming platform to where you can install a bunch of Toonzy themes through Cydia. This is just the one that it comes with, it looks pretty cool. Safari in Messages allows you to view a link inside of your Messages app instead of having to go outside of your Messages app in Safari to view the web page. 
Sentinel is an interesting idea for a tweak. While enabled with your custom percentage, this tweak will enact a fake shutdown of your device of sorts, allowing your battery to be saved and preserving your jailbreak. Something like this would come in handy if you're using a device that has checkering on it and you can't always get to a computer. This, in turn, would save your jailbroken state. To get out of this, all you have to do is press the volume up button three times. When you open your settings page with settings tweak life installed, you can get right to your tweak section. Confetti Activator is a tweak that places confetti on your iOS device. Currently right now, there's a few other options. You can do diamonds and a few other display options. This tweak is kind of similar to another tweak called Snowverlay, where basically this effect is just present throughout the device. Like Barmoji, DocX adds a little bit more to your bottom bar, allowing you to have copy and paste shortcuts. Chroma Home Bar X allows you to have a multicolored home bar. Cool CC outlines your control center and gives it a cool look. If you have the option enabled, you can also have it theme the volume bar as well. With attention, instead of your screen completely turning off and locking, this will temporarily give your screen a pretty nice blur effect. In my top 40 video that I did that did pretty well, I covered this tweak. Mitsuha has kind of had a tough time and it's been bounced around by different developers. This is a great tweak idea and if somebody actively maintains it, I think hopefully considering there won't be many bugs, Hopefully this should continue to be a great tweak. Hopefully this tweak will receive fairly regular updates with bug fixes and also maybe supporting iOS 14 in the near future once that gets jailbroken. Oh, and this tweak is a music visualizer for the home screen, lock screen, and stuff like that. With drag spring, you can pull down on your settings page to respring your device, but with this new version, you can actually customize that so here I can make it say subscribe as it's respringing, as you can see. Better CCXI is a tweak that's been around for a while, but previously it was paid. Now it's free and you can make your control center look pretty different. This tweak does what I've seen so many people request. While using this tweak, you can now redirect links that would go to one application to go to another primary application that you select. In this case, I used Chrome where it would normally open a link in Safari. This tweak allows you to change the Apple Pay animation and the pop-up looks pretty nice. Tap Tap Flip is finally updated for the latest devices, and just like Snapchat, it allows you to double tap the device's screen to rotate the camera. However, on newer devices, the buttons to switch between cameras still work, so no functionality is lost. Compactor is an interesting tweak that system-wide changes your device's text to look sort of like Apple Watch style text. At first, I didn't really see what the big deal for this tweak was, and I didn't really notice a difference on video, but once you install it and you use it yourself, you realize that it's pretty cool. All right, guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on to never miss out on a brand new upload. I'm very excited to see what Apple comes up with this year for WWDC, and hopefully, if everything goes well, not too long after, we'll have an iOS 14 beta jailbreak with Checkery. If you enjoy these videos, but also would love to see some more short form versions of these tweak videos, I started a Jailbreak Hub TikTok page where I'll be posting short form Jailbreak tweak coverage, such as some cool tweaks that you might want to look at and more as well. So make sure you follow that as well as all of my other social media linked down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.